Hello and welcome. Um, my name is Eve. I'm your instructor today for this Vinyasa pro, uh, flow practice. Um, any equipment you need, blocks or straps, have them handy, use them at your leisure. Um, I'm sort of hoping that you're fit and well and healthy, but if you do hold an injury or anything that might affect your practice today, then please take it at your own level. And if you need to stop and take rest, or if you need to adjust or modify, please also take that option. So we're going to get going straight away. We're going to come into our hands and knees. So a nice, easy tabletop position. Nice and light on your wrists and hands, so you don't feel like you're depending on your, your knees and your hands on your mat. In fact, you're lifting away from that feeling. And then let's just move on our first inhale through our cow pose, just dipping the back down and lifting the heart forward. Exhale as you round into your cat, stretching the back. So you're feeling the skin on the back stretching. Inhale as you find your cow pose. And exhale to your cat. So let's just move through three or four more rounds of our cat cow. Just oiling up the muscles in the back. Mobilizing all these muscles that move us around in our everyday life. And then just coming back to a neutral spine. Now I would say just moving your hands a little bit further forwards, tucking the toes and finding your first plank. So high plank, always can modify it on the knees if you need to. But keeping the legs active and strong, belly lifted, shoulders lifting away from your hands on the mat. Your hands being your anchors, but from your anchors everything floats up. And what we float up to our shoulders, we're trying to send back to our legs and find your downward facing dog. Let's get a little pedal into our legs if we need to, first downward facing dog of the practice. Every downward facing dog we should remember, we should acknowledge and we should enjoy. So don't ignore this part of your journey. I always say to my class, you know, that um, downward facing dog can be a little bit like, you know, when you get in a car and you drive somewhere familiar, maybe like the supermarket, and all of a sudden you're there at the supermarket and you haven't really even seen A to B. You haven't seen what's in between A to B. So down facing dog is a little bit like that vinyasa. You know we enjoy all the, the complicated bits of the practice. All the little bits that challenge us maybe and we have to think about. But down facing dog is, is that journey to the supermarket you know that we forget. So really noticing each of those down facing dogs. Have a look at your hands and just walk your feet to the top of your mat. Feet comfortable distance apart, we're going to bend our knees and take a rag doll, you know, if you need to just have a little shake out through the wrists or move out through the fingers. If you want to have a little sway side to side, whatever feel comfortable for you at the very beginning of this practice. And then bringing your hands to your shin bones as you shine your heart forward, lengthen your spine and fill the space. Exhale as you fold back to that rag doll with as much knee bend as you need. Inhale your hands to your shin bones and then as you lift your arms up, we're going to step our feet a little bit closer together. Reach the ceiling or the sky and then exhale, bend your knees and a big breath out as you brush your mat. Inhale as you stand up with a little back stretch if your back is fine. Exhale again into that bend. Inhale to that lift. Two more like that. Exhale. Inhale. Last one, we're going to stay down in the legs and we're going to come back in that chair pose. So nice and strong through our chair, sitting our seat bones down and lengthening through to the fingertips. So suddenly the muscles in our back are awake and they feel warm and they feel like they're working out a little bit. Inhale as you stand and find the last in Exhale. Taking a breath in, extending the arms up, lifting out of your waist, exhale, fold forward into forward fold, straight your legs now if you can. Inhale, lift the chest, heart is forward, take a step back to your plank. This time from your plank through your knees and your chest, elbows by your waist, come into a low cobra, inhale and just melt those shoulders all the way down your back. Exhale, tucking the toes, finding down facing dog. 
So from your down facing dog, stepping your right foot in between your hands to a lunge. And just keeping your back knee off the mat if you can. You can always put it down though if you need to. Chest stays lifted, so imagine your thigh is super hot, so you're pulling away from the heat of that thigh. We're going to straighten out our right leg. And if it's there for you, feel the toes of your right foot off the ground. As you lower those toes back down, bend your knee, remember your thigh is hot. Let's do that a couple more times, just following up our hips and legs down as we move through our lunge and our pyramid legs. One more, so as you feel the toes, I want you to keep the back leg super straight, bring the toes of your right foot down and bend your right knee. So your left leg still in your awareness as you come up into your high crescent lunge. How does that feel today? So it is a balance, it's a challenging pose, but really anchoring into our left leg and trying to keep lifted away from that front thigh. If you want to, you can go a little bit deeper into that front leg. Hands come into frame your foot and step back to your plank. So from your plank coming all the way down onto your belly. Inhale as you find that low cobra as we warm up our back bends. And exhale to your down facing dog. So back to your down dog, just checking your form, your legs hip distance, your hands shoulder width. And that weight pushing all the way through your hands, not settling somewhere heavy in your wrists. Left foot steps in between your hands to that high lunge, lifting the chest away from the heat of the thigh. Straighten both legs again if it's there for you, peeling the toes of your left foot off the floor and coming back to that high lunge. Let's do that a couple more times. So inhale as we straighten, exhale as we bend. Last one of these. As we come back to that lunge, chest stays lifted and let's come all the way up into our high crescent lunge, trying to find a little bit of still stability, even stillness, confidence in our balance here. How far can you reach through the side of the body? Hands coming beside your front leg, this time step into the top of your mat. Feet a little bit closer together, bend the knees and come back into your chair pose. Inhale as you stand. Exhale, find Tadasana. Taking a breath in, extending the arms high. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, lift the chest again. Step or try a little jump to plank. Coming down onto your belly or halfway if you're warmer. Inhale, find arc facing dog or cobra. Exhale, find downward facing dog. This time let's take our right leg off the mat through them down facing dog and lunge that right glute. Bend your knee as much as you need to. If you're more advanced, that leg can sort of tip you over. If you're a little cautious, just taking an easy knee bend. Bringing your knee to your nose, your nose to your knee into a tiger curl, rounding your spine all the way up, a little bit like your cat spine and sending that leg back, inhale, through the down facing dog. Let's do that again on our breath, exhale, tiger curl. Inhale, three limb dog. This time as you come through, step your right foot in between your hands and inhale back into your high crescent lunge. Remember those swings we did in our chair? Let's take a little dive forward, so we're sort of about at a third of the way down. Gonna exhale, brush our mat with our hands, and inhale all the way back to your high crescent lunge. Let's do that twice more. Inhale, exhale. Let's do that once more. Inhale, exhale. Let's add a warrior two to that. Back foot lands on the mat, our second standing pose, warrior two. Left arm coming over to meet your right hand, spread your foot and step back to your plank. Find your vinyasa to the mat or halfway, elbows by your waist. Inhale, find your upward dog or your cobra. Exhale to your downward facing dog. And suddenly downward facing dog feels almost like it's needed. So feel fine here in down dog. Come back to your breath. Lift your left leg off the mat. 
take that knee bend, just play with it a little bit if you want to, just be a little more cautious if, if you need to. Knee to your nose, nose to your knee as you round your spine into your tight curl. Inhale that leg all the way back, have a little kick up of your ceiling or the sky. Exhale to your tiger curl. Inhale, three, then down dog. Exhale, one more, land your foot between your hands. And inhale up into your high crescent lunge. So it's really useful to anchor straight down into that back leg. So that back half, that back heel feels strong. Take that little dive forward. Reach your fingertips up. Exhale, brush. Inhale, high lunge. Twice more like that. Exhale. Inhale. One more like that. Exhale. Inhale. We should feel more now. We're going to open that out to a worry two. A little bit of calm inside of those swings. Second standing pose. And then bring your right arm over to meet your left, crane your foot, and step back to your plank. So halfway down to the mat, you choose now your vinyasa through up dog or cobra. And down facing dog. And we're back here at down facing dog. So let's move on from here. So I'm just going to do a really quick change on my mat. So quite nice that the first time I'm facing you on the screen. So I'm just going to do a quick 180 on my mat. And come back and join you in your down facing dog. Let's take out the right leg off the mat, bend the knee the same, heel to bottom. This time now we're going to bring our knee to our opposite elbow. We're going to try and touch our elbow or maybe even our tricep. Now that right leg is going to cross your thigh, so we go back as an eagle in our down facing dog. And then bring your right foot back in between your hands and just come up into your high crescent lunge. Open to your warrior two, so let's come back to our second pose. And just take a moment here in your, in your warrior two. So you want to just feel that the inside of the knee is pushing back towards the middle toe side of your mat. And that your back leg, your left leg now, feeling as anchored as it did in your high crescent lunge. Bringing your right arm to rest on your thigh. Your left arm straight above you. We're just going to see if we can sink a little deeper into our legs, come back to your warrior two. Let's do that twice more. So arm to your thigh, see if you can exhale a little deeper, come back to your warrior two. One more time, exhale. Now we're going to just point our fingertips down to the inside of our calf or ankle, so our arms are spread out like wings, and then if it's there for you, Slide a little deeper down, maybe even your fingertips touching your mat, it doesn't matter if they don't, and you can use a block if you need to. But then we're going to make prayer hands from here, so we're going to just let our elbow tuck into the inside of our knee or thigh, our hands in prayer, namaste. I'm going to use that elbow to gently try and turn us a little bit more to face your screen or to face the long side of your mat. Now from this side angle variation, we're just going to turn to face our front knee and spin onto the toes of your back leg. So we're back in our high lunge, lifting the back leg off the floor into what I've recently called a wobbly warrior three. Because I'm always wobbling in my warrior three. And as you can see, nothing changes. But what you can do in your warrior three, whether you wobble, when you fall out of it, and whether you have to come back into it, and you know I wobble it, so you know it's live. We're going to try and bend our knee a little bit. We're going to try and bend our knee a little bit more. We're going to take a little curtsy squat, so knee comes into knee, left knee to right knee. And then with that knee bent and with this knee bent, we're going to push that left leg back and come back into our high crescent lunge, inhale, open that out to your warrior two, exhale, hello right leg, 
Reverse your warrior, but as you do so, straighten your right leg and let's just flush that right leg out. Bring your arms back out in line with your shoulders. Take a little tip towards your right toes and you take a triangle pose. Exhale. And you might just need to wiggle that left foot in a little bit. You might just need to pivot your heel out a little bit. You might have your hand on your block, your ankle. It might be higher up on your calf, whatever you feel comfortable with. Exhale your left arm over so your arm frames your head. Scoop your underneath waist up. Now you can stay there or you can try this with me. We're going to lift our right arm also. Our thumb and index finger of our left hand is going to find our right wrist. And we're going to pull that arm shape up. Bend your right knee down and come back into this variation of our reverse warrior. See if you can gently pull at that wrist and open out that right waist a little bit and come back to your warrior two. Left arm over to meet your right, step back to plank. We're just going to step our feet a little bit closer together. We're going to move on to our left side into a side plank. So you always put your left knee on the floor, taking your right arm above you. You know that can also just rest on your hip. And if you'd like to try, we're going to bring our right toes up on top of our left knee into this sort of tree variation of our side plank. Keeping the right arm extended, you're going to push that right leg out, leaving it just hovering off the top of your left leg for a moment. And then step it back on top of your left and turn to your plank. Vinyasa your way, chaturanga or to the mat. Inhale up, facing dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Just going to step your left foot in between your hands. And with your left foot in between your hands, turn to face the long line of your mat. Take a wide leg forward fold, just allowing your head to bow. I sometimes call this a pause breath, so just use this time just to maybe bring your mind back to your breath. Allow your body to breathe. You're going to take a breath in, lift the chest halfway. And then turning your left foot out again. So just walking back to that left foot. But this time stepping your right foot in. So it's about a metre behind your left foot. You can get your right heel on the floor. If you imagine or if you have a line running down the inside of your mat or the middle of your mat, I want your feet either side of it rather than like a tightrope on top of it. Lifting your chest, inhale. And then if it's there for you, if you're feeling warm and flexible, just taking a fold over your top leg. Exhale. Giving your body a little moment here, seeing how it feels through the left leg. Maybe the fresher leg of the two. Inhale, lift the chest. Just move the hands forward, we're going to take the right leg off the floor into standing stretch, have a little kick up there at the ceiling of the sky, and then step your two feet together. Bend your knees, lift your chest, come into chair pose. From your chair pose, come all the way up to standing, and find Tadasana. Exhale, let's do it all again on the other side, taking the breath in, extending the arms up. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, lift the chest, back is flat. Exhale, step or jump. Chaturanga Dandasana, or to the mat. Into your up facing dog or your cobra. Into downward facing dog. And we'll take our left leg off the mat this time. A little kick up to the ceiling or the sky. Bend the knee, heel to bottom, be exploring that. Bring your knee to your opposite elbow, coming across your midline, finding your elbow or maybe even your tricep. That thigh crosses your right thigh, you go back into your eagle down facing dog. Bring your left foot in between your hands to your high crescent lunge. Inhale, lift into your high crescent lunge. And just open out to our, our warrior two. So again, just feeling that stretch in the thigh. Confirming 
that right strong anchored leg. And your torso lifted. Powerful pose, proud pose. Left arm comes to your thigh, right arm above you. Just sink in a little deeper into those legs if you can. Come back to your warrior two. Twice more like that. So inhale to your arms. Exhale to your legs. Inhale to your warrior. One more. Inhale to your arms. Exhale to your legs. We're going to point our left fingertips down towards our palm. Or our ankles spread out our wings. And if we're able to, just go a little deeper into your legs. You can use a block if you need to. Or you can find the ground if you can. And then bringing your hands into your prayer. So using your hands and that elbow against the inner knee there. Just to gently turn you a little bit more into the long line of the mat. Don't forget that right leg. That's a mighty support for you here. You're going to turn to face your left leg. Spin onto the toes of your back leg. Still in that lunge. It's a little bit jagged, but we got there. And then lift the back leg into your wobbly warrior three, or maybe your warrior three is as strong and as still as a mountain. Bend in your knee a little bit. Bend in your knee a little bit more. How about a little bit more? Bringing your right knee into your left knee like a little curtsy. And then pushing that leg back, landing your leg. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Exhale, worry two. As you reverse your worry, if you remember, we straighten our left leg and we just allow that back bend and that left leg to just flush out a little bit. Bringing your arms back to the line with your shoulders. Little tip towards your left toes. Come into your triangle trikonasana. You might just need to adjust that back foot a little bit so it feels comfortable and acceptable. You might want to play with the arms a little bit. Spread out your wings. We're going to exhale the right arm over so the arm sits nicely by the back of the ear if we can and just stay there if you need to. Or we're going to lift this left arm with our right thumb and index finger. We're going to catch hold of our left wrist, pull those arms forward and then lift up that loop of your arms as you bend your left knee and come into your reverse warrior. So the arms framing our head as we pull back. And then find your warrior two. Exhale. Bringing your right arm over to meet your left. And stepping back to your plank. Stepping our feet a little bit closer together. Spinning onto our right side this time. Taking out our left arm straight up above our right arm. Stay there in your side plank. Or try and bring your left toes on top of your knee. Into this tree variation. And then stretching that leg out so we look like a star. And coming back to your plank. Exhale, thank goodness. Chaturanga Dandasana or to the mat. Inhale to your up facing dog or cobra. Exhale to your downward facing dog. Just going to step your right foot in between your hands. And as you turn to face the long line of your mat, this time you can either just take that pause breath, bend your knees, be a rag doll, or you can gently pull your head towards your mat. Or if you'd like to, you're just going to take your arms behind your back this time, roll your shoulders together. You can leave your hands on your back, or you can start to move them over your head. Try and bring the weight from the heels where they might be to the balls of the feet where sometimes we don't want them to be. And just get a little bit of work into our shoulders here as well. If you like your tailbone tips over the back of your heels, not over the back of your mat. And just come back to your breath here. Inhale as you lift halfway, place your fingertips back on your mat. Turn your right foot back out to the short edge of your mat. Hands come around to that right foot. 
Step your left foot in, we're about a walking stride, we're either side of that centre line of your mat. Lift your chest, if you've got tight, tight hamstrings, you might not stay here, you might want your hands on your shin, you might leave your hands on two blocks. But if all's good for you, exhale, we fold over that front leg. You need to tuck your right hip in as if you were trying to practice this pose but in the smallest of spaces. Inhale as you lift your chest, fingertips come a little bit forward, lifting your back leg off the floor. We're going to kick the ceiling or the sky and then bring that leg down next to your right foot, about hip distance this time, bend your knees and be a ragdoll. We're going to flow guys, so if you need additional rest, you can take that rest, but if you'd like to come with me, we're going to inhale, bring our hands to our shin bones, bring our hands all the way above our head, bring our feet together, zip them up, and come into our chair pose. One swing, one breath swing, exhale, come back to chair pose, inhale, hands to the floor and a forward fold. Inhale, lift the chest, back is flat, step or jump. Vinyasa through chaturanga or ground, inhale up, facing dog or cobra. Exhale, down, facing dog. Right leg leaves the mat. Bend the knee, heel to bottom, bring the right foot in between the hands. Come up into your high crescent lunge. From your high crescent lunge, open to a warrior two. Exhale. Inhale through side angle, modified or go deeper. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Inhale, re re circle your arms and step back to your plank. Option to stay there or come onto the left side and take a side plank with feet on the ground or your tree pose and come back to your plank vinyasa. Inhale through up facing dog or cobra. Exhale to down the facing dog. Amazing, that breath now really flowing hot. Left leg leaves the mat, bend the knee. Bringing your foot between your hands and inhale. Coming up high crescent lunge. Exhale, open to your warrior two. Inhale to your side angle, modify it or go deeper. Exhale to your reverse warrior. Wiggle your arms, inhale. Step back to your plank. You can always just hold a plank or spin onto your right side, your side plank on your feet or in your tree pose. Coming back to your plank, Chaturanga or ground. Inhale up, facing dog or cobra. Exhale, did I say one more time? Oh, go on then. Let's lift our right leg off the mat. Bend the knee, heel to bottom. No rush, bring your right foot in between your hands. Inhale, your best high crescent lunge so far. Exhale, your warrior two. Your side angle, you know, maybe this one is the one where you can go a little deeper. And exhale, reverse your warrior. Maybe you can tip back a little further. Big windmill through the arms to your plank. You can leave plank if you wish, or spin onto your left side with your feet on the ground or with your toes on the inside of your left knee. Coming back to your plank, chaturanga. Dandasana on that. Inhale, up facing dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. We are nearly there. Left leg leaves the mat, bend that knee, weave that hip open. Foot comes between the hand, help if it needs to. Inhale, two feet firm on the ground as you lift into your high lunge. Spread out your arms as you come into your warrior two. Your side angle for the last time, maybe your best side angle so far. Reverse your warrior. Enjoy that back bend. Back a little further. Take a windmill through the arms to your plank. 
Either stay in plank or bring in your feet closer, right side this time. Maybe trying that tree pose at the end of the vinyasa. Coming back to your plank, come all the way down onto your belly. Say hello to your mat. Inhale, find low cobra. Big roll of your shoulders back and down. Exhale, come back onto your belly. Inhale through your low cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, sit back. Stay there if you need to. Or come back up into your last down facing dog of the journey. How does that journey feel? Did you acknowledge A to B? Did you feel all of those down facing dogs? How they react to you? How you react to them? That sweet part of the journey that we just sometimes ignore. Maybe this one is we're feeling that our legs feel a little bit more flexible, our body's certainly a lot more warmer. Maybe our body's that bit more grateful for moving through this practice today. Rise to your toes, bend your knees, feel like you've got some bounce in your legs. You're either going to walk or jump to a seated behind the backs of your wrists. And then free your legs out in front of you and roll onto your backs. Just hug in your knees in towards your chest and then back massage. Now I'm going to utilise the heat that we build through our entire body. And we're going to do some funny little crunches and I thought that they're, they're like eagle crunches. And I practised them yesterday with a group on Zoom and we had a giggle. So I thought I'd share them with you today. Just let your arms come out wide to the side and just let your arms go heavy and relaxed. And then take your legs straight up above you and as if your legs were up the wall. Just let them go a little bit lazy, a little messy above you. We're going to cross our left leg over our right. So thigh over thigh. And then if it's possible, tuck your left foot around the back of your, around the back of your right. So you have your eagle legs. And if you can't do that, just cross your legs, it's fine. We're then going to lift our arms above us and we're going to take our left arm underneath our right. And we're going to eagle our arms as well. So if we can, we're going to bring our palms together. If we can't, we can just cross them, it's fine. And then see if you can bring your elbows to touch your knees like this. Now what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and bring our hands to the ground or close to the ground behind our head and our feet to the ground in front. And as we draw our elbows and our knees back together, we're going to curl up and crunch in. And then we go back. Inhale, so as far back as you can go, and as tight as you can crunch. Four like that. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Here's three. Curl up, squeeze the belly, exhale. Last one, and exhale. Hold, hold, hold. Release the arms, drop them out to the side. Release the legs, shake them out above you, come back to your easy legs, up that virtual wall again. Let's do it one more time. Right leg crosses your left. Can you wrap that foot around the back of your calf and eagle your legs? Do what you can with that. Let your arms come above you, shoulders stay on the mat. Arms still stay relaxed and lazy. Right arm underneath the left. Tangle up those arms in eagle. Bring your knee and your elbow close or to touch, head still on the floor. And then open them out as far as you can open them. Thumbs to the ground, toes to the ground. Exhale, crunching. Inhale, open. Exhale, crunching. We have four more, a little faster if you can. Let's do it, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, two to go, squeeze up and breathe, last one, exhale, squeeze up, hold, 
and then release, arms out to the side, untangle those legs, shake them out, and tuck them in. Let's take our legs over to the right side. Let's turn in the head to the left. And then let's just take our legs over to the left side and turn in our head to the right. Let's bring the legs back into centre. Big hug of your knees in, squeeze them in like a big bear hug. And then stretch your body out, a lovely big open space to breathe into after our funny little eagle crunches. And then hug your knees back into your chest. Now as always, if you practice with me, I give, this, give you the offer to just take a Shavasana now. That way you can spend as long or as little time in Shavasana as you need to. If you're going to finish the class with me, we're just going to curl our head up. Roll the shoulders down your back and find your way up whichever way to the seated. Just bringing the legs into an easy cross-legged comfortable position and just sit nice and tall through the spine. Just going to ask you to take one hand to the opposite knee, other hand behind your spine. And just take a nice easy passive finishing twist this way, softening your gaze to the hand there resting on the mat. I'm going to ask you to then to just do the same the other side. Think about keeping all that space in your back that you've taken time to find today. Using all the warmth of the muscles that you've worked so hard to squeeze into. The hand that's behind you, we're going to leave there and the hand that's on your knee is going to come behind you as well. And then light on your fingertips as you lift your chest up. And you can let your head drop back if you wish. That lovely, rich, warm, proud breath into the top of your chest. And as you exhale, just bring your hands in front of your knees, backs of your elbows, wrists and forearms on the ground. Tuck in your chin to your chest like a little sitting up child's pose. And then do that to them and then move around through the neck after those crunches, which is perfectly fine and natural. And then come all the way up to a seated. We're going to take one lovely roll of our shoulders together. Take a breath in together. Inhale, hands reaching up. And exhale to your namaste. And thank you so much for joining me. I do hope you enjoyed that vinyasa practice. Have a lovely day.